Hi, I'm David Gross, back with you from Condi System to share a little bit of my wisdom for sublimation success. What I have in my hand is what I normally would call the Chromalux Glossy White Metal. And this metal, along with a fantastic company by the name of Universal Woods, has changed the face of the sublimation world through these gorgeous products. Vir metal has gone viral in our world, and if you're not part of the Chromalux revolution, I recommend you get on board. What we have done with this new metal is pushed it outdoors. So for years, we wanted to push everything sublimation outside, but unfortunately, sublimation tends to fade outdoors. Why does sublimation fade? Really for two reasons. Number one is we have what's called dye migration. Since heat puts the ink in the coating of the metal or the coating of any substrate, um, heat takes it out. So when you put something outdoors, the coating heats up and it makes the ink active again. And that ink wants to move around, it migrates, sort of like dot gain. And it also wants to outgas. It simply wants to leave the same way it came in. Number two is inks over, over time can be affected by UV radiation. Um, and so just about anything, of course, you put outdoors will fade. And sublimation is no different. So the great folks at Universal Woods, better known as Unisub, through this Chromalux product, have created basically an amazingly amazing new coating that has a much longer life outdoors. They call it the Chromalux EXT. I'm not sure how they pronounce it. Maybe it's Extend or something like that. But this new metal will be recognizable through its yellow peel coat. So the metal is not yellow, this peel coat comes off. Now, when we go outdoors, we really print two kinds of things. Number one is we print photographs, um, and this will be a good example of a photograph. Um, and we also do things that are really, um, we'll call it graphic oriented. Now if I look at this, it looks like both of these really have, have photographic elements in them raster elements. And so the life outdoors of this or any sublimation substrate um, are really dependent to some extent first on, on the graphic we're using. So if we're using a photograph, especially of something that has uh, flesh tones in it, um, when the flesh tones begin to fade, usually the magenta fades first, giving our images a cyan tint everybody will recognize those flesh tones as not being correct. But on the other hand, if it's a graphic, when a graphic begins to fade, it's sort of hard to recognize because you can't quite remember what it used to look like. And so graphics have a built-in longer life than a photograph, especially one with, uh, with flesh tones in it. Now for years, we've been selling um, basically a an older version of this for the Unisub license plates, the hitch covers, things like that. Um, even though both of these will have a yellow peel coat, the, the extended life, the exterior Chromalux, um, will be, you'll see the part numbers on our website for those, those uh, SKUs. Let's go over some of the characteristics of this great new product. Number one, and perhaps the most important, is you get great Chromalux quality, vibrant colors, sharp detail, that 3D look that comes from the thick coating. Number two is you get the awesome scratch protection of this metal. Um, it's very difficult to scratch. It's going to hold up quite well um, in an outdoor environment. Number three is it's, it's graffiti resistant. So if somebody spray paints it, guess what? you can wipe that away with lacquer thinner. In fact, I've got videos from years ago that show me doing that, and I've got some videos that even show me trying to light the stuff on fire. So that one got me in trouble with the wife, as a matter of fact. And finally, this product is a single step product, meaning you sublimate, that's it. Unlike many of the outdoor products that require a second step, putting a laminate layer on top. Now, this is really, we'll call it phase one of moving the Chromalux exterior product to the outside. And that is the metal is available today. If you use the metal with your desktop sublimation system, let's say you have a Virtuoso, 
SG400, 800, a Ricoh, um, you know, even the Epsons, the bigger printers, you will get um, a much longer life outdoors. What we are working on now is to come out with new inks that simply are better sublimation inks for everyday use but when used with, in conjunction with a metal like this for, for outside use, will give you even longer life. And so that's the, really a phase two. So again, the tougher the ink is, so to speak, then the more difficult the ink will be to have dye migration and outgassing. The UV package is really part of the, the coating of it. And so the good news is that um, there's a lot of innovation going for you to take advantage of those outdoor out opportunities. We will be spending a lot of time uh, telling you of success stories, telling you of strategies for mounting metal, things that um, we're excitingly learning about. Um, and, and with this product, you will be able to, to aggressively go after markets that before uh, probably weren't a good fit for the existing products. So the metal today is available. It's available in pretty much uh, just a large number of sizes, all the way up, of course, to sheet sizes for people that want to cut their own metal. And what I'd like to do is have a call to action for you um, to give us a call if you're interested in this outdoor metal. And we will throw in a free five by seven piece of the Crumblux exterior metal with your, to be included with your next order. So I look forward to your questions. I can be emailed at dgross at condi.com. You can also seek additional information from your Condi sales rep. And look forward to pushing sublimation outside. Well, this has been David Gross with Condi Systems. Thank you.